Hello and welcome to this episode of Hip Attack. It's me and today we're going to show you how to make a water shoot just like this one in Adobe Photoshop. And I'm using CS4. I believe it will work in CS3. But we're going to go on to the tutorial now. So the first thing we want to do is open up a new page. So file, new. I'm just going to name it water. Um, and you want it to be 7 by 7 inches in RGB color. Press OK. Once that opens, you want to create a gradient that goes lighter to darker blue. So your, yeah, your background will be a turquoise-ish blue color, and your foreground is going to be a bl dark blue, like that. And then you select your gradient tool. And you just draw up, or yeah, drag up, and you have your gradient like this. Next, you want to make a new layer, layer, new layer. We'll name that water, and press OK. Then you select your rectangle marquee tool, and you make a box about this big. Shift F5, and this should come up, fill, and make sure it's 50% gray. Press OK. That did not work. OK, yes, it did. This was lagging. All right, so you need to make sure that your presets are back, so black and white, foreground, and background. And you want to do filter, render, fibers. And you want one kind of even, like this one. This one's a good one. And you press OK. And what that does is this. Then you go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you want about three or four. That's good. I like three. And then you go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And make sure your angle is negative 90 degrees. And you want that at about um, 134-ish, if I can ever get there. Alright, so 134. Press OK. Then, you just go filter artistic plastic wrap and I should make that your highlight strength should be all the way up your detail should be 2 and your smoothness should be 14 you press ok so right now it looks like water except it's not blue or clear or whatever so you need to make sure your layer make sure it's just layer 1 is on hard light and that will turn it blue uh, the next thing you want to do is retransform. So just right click on it, retransform, and right click on it again, and warp. And just bring the sides across each other, like so. Just bring. And now just click the check. You can move it a little bit if you want to. And then you're done. That's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. And tune in next time for some more tutorials just like this one. And bye.